Hey everyone, the Unconventional Outdoorsman here. I've got a quick little video for y'all today going over the evolution of bait casters in roughly the last 15 years. I'm going to go from the first bait caster I ever owned all the way up to the newest one. And there's a pretty big progression through all of them. And uh, so I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to start off with the oldest. Um, this is an old Bass Pro Mega Cast 1. I mean, look at just how bulky this thing is. Just a big hunk of fiberglass. I mean, the spool is pretty deep. Only problem is the anti-reverse um, on this and the anti-lock braking system is like non-existent, so it whiplashes extremely easily. It's got an extremely low gear ratio. I think it's like a, well, it's actually a pretty fast one compared to like some other ones you might even get now. It's a 6.2 to 1, which is really fast for back then. This one came out like, I don't even know. I got this for a gift, so it might have came out like late 2000s, early 2010s. I'm not sure, don't correct. If anybody knows exactly when this Bass Pro Mega Cast 1 reel came out, please leave a comment down below. But just to show comparison, I'll show you my sleekest reel. This is a Abu Garcia Revo X. You know, and just look at the difference in size. This is a much better reel. Um, but back then, this was pretty, you know, pretty uh, pretty good, pretty effective. You know, it wasn't high end by any means. I mean, sure, that was like the Abu Garcias and Shimano's and all that, but it was still something nice to have. And I caught a lot of fish on this. Uh, I don't really use it too much anymore because it's basically obsolete for what I do. But it's got all the uh, real settings up here. You know, you've got the, uh, the zero to a hundred. It only has two ball bearings. Think about that. This this is not even a high end bait caster here. This is a Lose Laser MG. This is eight or ten ball bearings. Eight all ball bearings in it. This one only has two. So just think about the progression. That means the smoother reel. Um, better casting distance, all stuff like that. You can reel in faster and all kinds of stuff. But that's the first one I ever owned. That's probably like a dinosaur compared to what we have now. So that's reel number one. This is probably about early 2000s to late 2000s, stuff like that. Next one, I'm going to go to the next one I got. This was um, 2014. So quite a big jump in time between the two. This is my Abu Garcia Hank Parker design. Now this one is a... 6 2 to 1 also. It has 7 bearings, so already you can see the jump in the progression of uh, technology from 2 to 7. Um, it's the same gear ratio, like I said, a lot smoother. Uh, better system, better um, settings on it, you know, easier to use, more aerodynamic, you know, better ergonomics on it. And something that I really love about this reel that I continue to use this day, it's got a really cool flipping feature. So you flip this little knob, if you see that, you flip that down, it's a flipping feature. So. Um, with that, it, as you can hear, when you click the, uh, the release, it'll go back up. So that means if you're flipping with it, that way you don't get a whiplash and you let go. And as soon as it hits the water, just let go and you're fine. No whiplash, you don't have to worry about it. So it's, it's a really good reel. Uh, very effective. As you can see, when I was a kid, I didn't know how to get whiplashes out, so I would literally take a knife and dig in there, so I've got some scratches on it. I would not recommend doing it, but I'll tell you what, with, with a good bait caster like this, I got this 2014, 2015. If you take care of them, they'll last you five, six, seven years as long as you take care of them. So that's good. I would keep about 12 pound test on them. I've got 14 on there now, but I would probably carry 12 most times. This, 8 to 10. <clears throat> All right, next to my personal favorite. Um, I got these last two reels I've gotten within the last year. This one I'm about to show you is my absolute favorite. This is my Abu Garcia Revo X. Is a six six to one gear ratio with eight ball bearings, and that thing is just so smooth. And I've got an all black rod. I put this on, which is perfectly paired. I'm going to be making a video next week going over finding the right rod for your reel. This one I found just the perfect rod. It's actually the rod that came with this, but it's not the perfect rod for this. Um, the way these two go together, I mean, I can put it basically any lure, anything from super light to super heavy, and I can cast that thing a mile. I was actually fishing yesterday and caught two little bitty bass on it. Two little flare fish, and it does extremely well. It's extremely smooth if you oil it. Uh, the thing I like about this Abu Garcia, there's a little knob here that you can literally just get to the, the drags and the spool and take your reel apart really fast. So that is something really nice about this Abu Garcia. Uh, I think this one retails for like 90 to to $100, so it's definitely not high end, but something that's very effective at doing what I need to do, and I'm happy to have it. Um, I, it's caught me tons of fish. I think it's caught me... My PB. Last year I caught a 6.3 pound bass. And I carry 10 to 12 pound test on this. I'll go 15 sometimes if I'm flipping, but that's what I have the next reel for, really. But um, I'll carry a, most times I'll carry 7 foot medium, 7 foot medium heavy. The most I'll go up to is a 7.3 with this type of reel, but 
that's good. I mean, but this you can reel in 27 inches for every single crank. So that's 27 inches right there of line that you retrieve, which is pretty neat, pretty nice. This next one is probably, it's not my favorite. I just picked this one up recently. I need a new reel, new rod, something heavier, something faster. Um, this is actually older than this. So I guess I should have done it backwards, but I'm going in the order I got them and the technology that I've seen. This is probably the fastest reel I've ever owned. Um, this is a seven one to one gear ratio. Eight ball bearings also, so not too much difference there, as you can see. You can def definitely get some with 10 or 12 now, but you're definitely looking at the 200 to $500 range for that. Um, anything from a six to eight ball bearings, you're gonna be fine. Very effective. This is a Luz MCS Laser MG. Seven one to one gear ratio, eight bearings. I keep seven, 15 to 17 pound test on here. This is mainly my swim bait and flipping reel. Uh, it's really nice. It's got a lot of drag on it. You can put like 10, 15 pounds of drag on this thing, especially with really heavy line. And I know a lot of bass fishermen tend to use like, I don't know if a lot, but I, you know, the professional guys use like 50 pound braid, 25 pound fluoro. Me personally, the highest I'll ever go up for a bass reel, especially around here, is either 17 pound uh, fluoro, like I have on now, which is pretty thick. You can literally see it on the camera. Like, that's how thick it is. Or I, if I'm feeling like really like I don't want to break my line, I'll go to 25 pound braid or 20 pound braid. But that's really all I'm going to do. The only reason I use braid is if I'm going on a trip and I want to carry more line. Uh, braid is expensive too. Isn't always the easiest to carry like or buy. Um, you know, because I'm very picky about my braid because certain types of braid I've used on reels like this one and this one, these don't work too well. And that's the thing you'll find about fishing line with most, whether it's a bait cast or a spinning reel or a spin cast, anything. Um, certain types of line you're going to like, certain types of line you're not going to like. Uh, there's going to be, you know, different ratings. Like, I'll make a video about that, my favorite types of line. If y'all would like to see a video about my favorite types of fishing line, please leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to do that here in the next couple of days. But um, that is the progression of fishing reels in the last, why am I holding up that one? The last 15 years, let's just say, from 2005 to 2020. And I'm sure there's going to be so many more techno technological advances in the next 10 years to come. And I'm not even showing the full range of here. They've got ones now, a digital tip chip that'll literally sense when your bait's about to hit the water so it won't whiplash. It's neat. I actually have one more bait caster, but it's actually down at my aunt's house in Southern Missouri. So that's all I have for y'all today. Um, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. I probably will post a video tomorrow. It depends. I might be pretty busy, so we'll see. Um, also, please subscribe if you haven't, and have a wonderful Friday.